So basically, uh, the application that I'm going to be demoing is called dot voting. Contrary to what you may think, it does not have to do with Polkadot as, as far as like you're voting with DOT tokens, but it can be used for any ERC-20 token. And the mechanism is very simple. It's a, each, each voter has a predefined amount of DOTs, and you distribute those amongst multiple options, and the outcome is based on the average, dot, average number of DOTs or points received per option. So I just have that Wikipedia entry there for you to realize it's like a very generic uh, mechanism. So what are the different use cases for this? You can uh, prioritize grant categories to create RFPs. You can distribute a finite amount of funds over a series of grants. Um, or you can allocate bounties to multiple people or parties, or sorry, bonuses. Or you can distribute governance tokens to project contributors. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview before we jump into the demo so you have an understanding of this mechanism. And then first I'm going to talk about a hypothetical scenario before we get into the demo. So this hypothetical scenario is three teams were afford, uh, awarded grants to develop the Polkadot Polka runtime environment. So it's not so hypothetical. It did actually happen, but this is a hypothetical as far as how this uh, mechanism is working. So a few months later, the grants committee is evaluating each team's output, you know, their transparency reports, and they're going to decide to allocate bonuses to the teams. So in this uh, hypothetical scenario, there's a four ETH bonus, and uh, the two people on the committee are Alice and Bob. So Alice, uh, they each have 100 dots. Uh, Alice uh, distributes 25 to OpenNetSys, 65 to Chainsafe, and 10 to Soramitsu. And then Bob distributes 28 to OpenNetSys, 33 to Chainsafe, and 39 to Suramitsu. So there, there's the, the formula there. A plus B plus C divided by, actually it should be 200, um, multiplied by 4 ETH, because 200 dots participated. So that's a little bit of a typo there. So at the bottom, you see how much each, um, each team receives as their bonus. So that's like the very, very basic mechanism here. It's not, you know, it doesn't have square roots. Uh, it's not like uh, CLR voting, but you can use it as a pre filtering process before you do CLR matching, for example. OK. Now, if you, had the, if you had set up your wallet or your desktop to participate in this DAO, you can visit this link and uh, start to, um, and you can visit this link and get ready, and I'm going to start to create the vote. And the vote is going to last for five minutes. Um, so. Let me just get into the demo now. And we can talk through it a little bit. OK. OK, so basically, I'm going to talk, talk through a few of the applications before we go through creating the vote. So, uh, so first, we have the address book. And I created a few different entries for different people. You see a few different teams there from the, the grant that I was talking about. And you also see the, the panelists that just spoke. So wait for it. <laughs> so basically, next. Oh, yeah, the other warning as far as like the Wi-Fi, you might want to use an, an LTE hotspot to participate in this vote if you have one, because the Wi-Fi might be slow. OK, so now I'm going to go into a allocations app. And this is where you can have like accounts for different categories of um, of these dot votes that you want to create. So you have one, for example, that says software development grants, and that's the account where you pulled the awards t for the previous award for the Polkadot runtime environments. And then I created another account, um, Web3 Summit Panelist Tips. So this is a, a, an example use case where you can tip people based on, um, based on how you felt their, their talk was. So, so the, so the description for this allocation, which is going to send to a dot vote, is tipping ETH to the DAO panelists. Whose viewpoint on the panel do you align with the most? I'm sorry if this ends up being a popularity contest. Like, don't, don't blame me, panelists. Let's just like, have some fun here. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to put eight Ethereum. I'm going to select to use my address book for options. So you saw the address book before. Each name is tied to an Ethereum address. I just put in some you know, dummy Ethereum addresses there so we can get this going. 
So I'm not gonna choose the moderator, but I'll choose the other participants. Okay. So after I submit this, it's going to create the dot vote. And like I said, you'll have five minutes to vote if you had submitted your Ethereum address to our form. And just make sure that you're connected to the Rinkaby network because this is on Rinkaby. And we also sent everyone like a little bit of Rinkaby ETH so you'll be able to participate in this. Okay, so I'm gonna create the allocation right now. So this is how Aragon works is this allocations app is connected to the dot voting app. So it's gonna forward it, um, ooh. It's gonna forward it to the dot voting app. And it takes like a, it's gonna take a little bit to show up. Okay, so it's confirmed. And then now you can go to dot voting and it's gonna show up in a second. Do, do, do. So the, the link that I gave before, that, that will take you directly to the dot voting app. Um, and if you have problems with your browser, just like type in the link again. I made it very easy for you to remember. And then let's see, refresh. Never really tried this live, so hopefully it works. <laughs> Don't blame me. Oh, there we go. Oh, it kind of showed up. So yes, like I said, the, the internet connection here might delay or lag some of this. So basically, the way that this app works is you have to use the slider. It could also, you know, on, on mobile, it's very sensitive. You might want to just tap instead of slide it. And you see at the bottom here, it says like 89 remaining. So, oh, you see someone started voting. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try to just like be fair and give each person 25, because I don't want anyone to get mad at me. <laughs> okay, this one I have to go down a little bit, okay. Okay. So I still have time. It says I have three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So I'm submitting that vote. And while, while this processes, I can talk a little bit more about um, other, other, other ways that this can be calculated. So we populated the, the token holders with the names that you gave uh, into our form. And right now, everyone has one token. Well, this person has two. Um, but if you had more tokens, your, your dots would be multiplied by the amount of tokens that you have. And this can work really well for you know, the, the example of source cred or, or reputation-based tokens. So people can have you know, non-transferable reputation, and you decide to allow people with those tokens to, to vote. So you can do it for non-transferable, or you can do it for transferable. So it can work for different use cases, like a closed grants committee. Uh, and due to the way like Aragon works, whenever you're adding a new token holder, it, you can decide to do that like, like collectively. Like you see here, um, I was minting tokens for a lot of people, but this is a, a DAO where I set it like the quorum is zero percent. So if, if everyone that has a token, you'll actually be able to really like mess with this DAO as well because you're gonna have like privileges to create votes and all that, but I won't really get into that fully. Um, but let's see how, how the vote's looking. So, so sh these results should be like live updating. So we can see the, the current. How many people are doing this right now? Okay, we have a few. Like about 30 people or so signed up on the form, so, which is pretty cool, I don't think I don't know if there's ever been that many people like voting at once on a proposal. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes, if the numbers are changing or not. But we can see at the top, and I can change my vote as well if I want. So you have until the vote closes to change your vote. So 16 seconds. And then I'll like just refresh it in case, or let it wait <laughs> for the blocks to mine. Oh, there's one minute remaining, actually, my eyes. What was that? We can, I guess, 
people have questions, like while the last minute is going, we can answer them, but, um, but we can also wait for the vote to end before those happen too. Let's see. Oh yeah, so this was actually one example that I wanted to show, which was, like I said in the, in the, in the presentation, I had this example of the three grants, and you can see there there were two people that voted, and and it's exactly like the the math in that in that vote here. So this this was actually simulated um, as a dot vote, and. Other use cases for this application are you can curate issues. So, um, so we've developed another app called the Projects app, and that you can link a GitHub repository, and you can connect issues in that repository. So those issues can be you know anything you want. Sometimes people create repositories for grants programs. Um, so, for example. Uh, Polkadot or Web3, they had all these different grant categories and you can prioritize them as an organization as well. So this was just like a, also like a simulated vote that we went through before this presentation. Okay. So now the vote seems over. I'll just reload it in case. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, there we go. Ooh, someone executed it. All right. <laughs> so th those are the results of the vote. So it looks like Cassandra had 36%, Luis had 23%, Sean had 17%, and Mariano had 23%. Or sorry, 17 and 23. So we can just like also verify this. You see like the amount of ETH. I don't know if you could see it. Like 1.34, 2.87, etc. So Cassandra had 2.87 can go back to the address book here just to verify it. There might be like a few like decimals off, but see on etherc scan. See 2.87. So that's basically how it works. After you execute it, each each person got that Ethereum. But this can work for, you know, ERC20 tokens and they just have to be in your in your DAO. So that's the dot voting demonstration and yeah, that's, that's the end of the presentation. So yeah, my name's Yalda, if you wanna follow me on Twitter. Um, part of Autark Labs, and we're part of a Aragon network, or an Aragon network organization. And these applications that I showed you, we're planning to go mainnet with them near the end of the year, like Q4 2019. So that's, that's about it. <laughs>